not knowing a lot of special needs fathers here in the Memphis area and just being able to connect with fathers who were going through a lot of the same experiences that, that I faced, uh, you know, day to day, it was reassuring. It gave me a lot of hope. Hi, I'm David Hirsch, host of the Special Fathers Network Dad to Dad podcast, now with more than 300 weekly episodes. Every Friday since 2018, we've been shining a bright light on the positive and uplifting aspects of raising children with disabilities and inspiring dads, stepdads, granddads, and father figures to be more present physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Welcome to the new Special Fathers Network Mastermind Group Monday podcast. I'll be interviewing Mastermind Group dads who will reflect on the positive impact the Mastermind Group experience has had on them and the well-being of their families. As a reminder, the SFN Mastermind Group experience is the most comprehensive program the 21st Century Dads Foundation offers. Dads raising children with special needs meet virtually on a weekly basis and form meaningful relationships while sharing weekly wins, discussing books, and sharing heartfelt challenges. One of the highlights of the year is attending an in-person weekend retreat. We're launching 10 new SFN Mastermind Groups in 2024 with 10 dads per group. That means we're only looking for 10 like-minded dads in each community. If you're a dad raising a child with special needs, we hope you'll join a local SFN Mastermind Group and make the investment to become the best version of yourself. For more information, please see the show notes or simply go to 21stCenturyDads.org. Happy listening. I'm thrilled to be talking today with my friend Shane Madden of Collierville, Tennessee, who is the father and operations analyst at Pfizer. Shane, thank you for taking the time to do a Mastermind Group Monday interview for the Special Fathers Network. Thank you for having me, David. You and your wife, Emily, have been married for eight years and are the proud parents of Marshall, who is eight and who has cerebral palsy. You've also been in the Special Fathers Network for more than three years. Your Special Fathers Network Dad to Dad podcast, episode number 154, aired in June of 2021. For the past two years, you've been involved with the Wednesday night Special Fathers Network Mastermind Group, and you attended the Mastermind Group weekend retreat in Chicago. Would you please provide our listening audience with a brief background on the Madden family? Sure, David. I grew up originally in uh, the Nashville, Tennessee area. I moved to Memphis about 11 years ago, and uh, that's where I met my wife, Emily. We actually used to work together. Uh, we have one son, Marshall. Uh, you mentioned he was eight. He actually just had a birthday, so he's actually nine now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like you said, I, I do work at Pfizer as a customer operations analyst, and I have a bachelor's in economics. Uh, that's my, my background in education. As far as Marshall's concerned and, and as far as special needs, he has a diagnosis of cerebral palsy, and he was diagnosed with that at two years old. And then an additional diagnosis around five years old, he also has autism as well. Okay. Well, thank you for the brief flyby. So I'm sort of curious to know, what attracted you to get involved with the Special Fathers Network originally? Sure, David. Uh, for me, I really wanted to help new fathers out there that might be uh, – going through some of the same things I encountered as a new father of a child with special needs. And, uh, you know, at the time I had had, you know, several years of experience with Marshall and, and seeking services and therapy. And, uh, I thought I could uh, be of assistance to someone, you know, hopefully in the Memphis area or abroad. And that's what really kind of drew me into the group. It was the opportunity to, uh, you know, kind of pay it forward and not knowing that I would probably benefit more from the group than what, what I could provide. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's pretty common. So I'm sort of curious now, uh, what did you understand about the mastermind group before you joined? I just knew it was a group of guys who all had children with some sort of special needs. And, you know, they met a couple times a month, read a book. I didn't know a lot until I actually attended kind of some tests, some trial runs to the meetings and then I got to see, you know, how in-depth it was and, and hear the stories of the other fathers. I, I didn't really know what to expect in the beginning, to be honest. Do you remember attending those first handful of meetings? What, what were those weekly meetings like? They were eye-opening to me, you know, because not knowing a lot of special needs fathers here in the Memphis area and just being able to connect with with fathers who were going through a lot of the same experiences that, that I faced, uh, you know, day to day, it was reassuring. It gave me a lot of hope. 
to know that, you know, I wasn't alone in this journey as a special needs father. Yeah, well, thanks for sharing. So what is attending the weekly mastermind group meetings meant to you? I tell you, David, it really gives me a lot of balance in my life. It's something I always look forward to on on Wednesday night, you know, whether I, I need to come and just listen or I, I may need a vent for the week. <laughs> Maybe I've had an IEP meeting at school that week or, or something like that. But it really gives me a chance to listen and both share what's happening in my life and, and Marshall's life. And it's, it's a really great resource for me to, to be able to attend those meetings. As part of the Mastermind Group experience, we read and discuss six books a year and then do a Zoom call with the author. Which has been your favorite book and author for that matter? My favorite book has been One More Step by Bonner Paddock. He, you know, is an individual, an adult male with cerebral palsy. And I had originally discovered him because I was trying to find role models for Marshall to, uh, you know, look up to, emulate, you know, successful people with cerebral palsy. And so being able to uh, read his book and, and get to talk with him face to face, it was really kind of like a bucket list item. You know, it's it's something I didn't know if I would ever be able to do because he's He's on the West Coast in California or Mexico, wherever the, he may be at the point in time. So being able to connect with him and talk about his experiences and his book, wow, what, what an experience that was. It was. It was really special. And I want to give you proper attribution. You brought his name to my attention. I reached out to him. He said yes. We read his book, and then the whole group had a chance to spend some time with Bonner Paddock. It was amazing. At the heart of the Mastermind Group experience is what we call Dad in the Middle, where two dads per meeting share a challenge they're wrestling with. What have those Dad in the Middle segments meant to you and why? To just, just to be able to share, you know, intimate details of what's happening with you, with your child. I can't express how grateful I am to have that opportunity. It's, it's real. Like I said, I mentioned before, it's really provided balance in my life, and it really has. More so, I think, than any therapy could because... Yeah, I could go talk to a therapist, but the likelihood is they're probably not a special needs father and they're probably not going to fully understand exactly what it is that I encounter on a day-to-day basis where where these dads in the group, they, they do understand. Yeah, point well made. Each fall, the 21st Century Dads Foundation hosts its annual SFN Mastermind Group weekend retreat. What has been your favorite uh, aspect of the retreat experience and why? Yeah, so I've only got to attend one so far, which was the Chicago retreat uh, this past year. I might be one of the only few, but to be honest, I really enjoyed the cycle bar ride. <laughs> <laughs> I I used to do a lot of biking when I was younger, and, and you know now that I'm a dad and busy with work and stuff, I uh, I don't get to do it as, as much as I'd like. And so just spending that time, even though we're you know pushing hard and and, and pedaling and breaking a good sweat. You know, just being there and and doing an activity with with the guys and uh, just being together, I, I just really enjoyed that. It, I mean, the whole weekend was great. I mean, you know, the riverboat ride, uh, dinners, everything was great about that weekend. It was a lot of fun. So, regarding the financial commitment, the SFN Mastermind Group dads invest anywhere from fifty to two hundred dollars per month, according to their financial wherewithal. What would you say to a dad who's interested in the Mastermind Group? but concerned about the financial commitment. I can understand their concern. I mean, being a special needs parent, there are a lot of expenses that we have that your typical family may not encounter. But I think if you plan for it and you budget for it and you make it a priority, it's a very small investment with a, a very large payout in the end, I think. So, you know, my, my advice would be, attend some of the meetings, give it a test drive, see what you think. And if you like what you see, try to make it a priority. It's not, like I said, it's not a huge investment in the grand scheme of things. You know, going out to eat once or twice a month, you basically would spend that or more easily. So, Absolutely. So I'm thinking about advice now. And can you share with a dad who's on the fence about joining the mastermind group? Yeah. Come test drive one of our weekly meetings, whether it be the Tuesday or Wednesday meeting. If you've got, you know, the ability to connect one-on-one with a dad that's already in the the Special Fathers Network, you know, maybe give him a phone call, just talk to him a little more, get a little deeper understanding, ask some questions. 
you know, share some concerns. It's a safe place. I want dads to know that it is a safe place. You're not going to be judged. So give it a try. And I think you'll like what you see. Yeah, good advice. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up? David, I I can't thank you enough for getting this group of dads organized and, and together. Like I said, I look forward to it every Wednesday. I try to make it a priority in my life because I believe it is important. And I, I just want to say thank you. Yeah, well, you're welcome. It's been a thrill to get to know the dads on the Wednesday night call, on the Tuesday night call, and then some of the newer dads who've been joining in various locations around the country. If somebody wants to contact you, what's the best way to do so? Yeah, best way is going to be through email. It's going to be uh, the letter D, my last name, Madden, M-A-D-D-E-N, 79 at AOL.com. I think I've got the last AOL account in America, so <laughs> it still works. Okay, I'll be sure to include that and maybe a connection to your LinkedIn profile as well. Yeah, that would be fine as well. Shane, thank you for the time and many insights. As a reminder, Shane is just one of the dads who's agreed to be a Special Fathers Network mentor father and who is a Special Fathers Network Mastermind Group dad. For more information on the Special Fathers Network and the Mastermind Group, please go to 21stCenturyDads.org. Additional links can also be found in the show notes. Shane, thanks again.